It's so exciting when you get your hands on your first harp, pluck a few strings and hear this glorious sound coming out. Nothing beats that feeling, but it can be a bit of a honeymoon period that fizzles out over time if we don't consider some important things in the way we go about our learning. Number one, learning without a plan seldom works. Learning on your own or even with a book or YouTube videos usually isn't enough for you to learn consistently and keep progressing for the long run. What often happens is people learn a few things, make a small amount of progress and then get discouraged and their harp sits in the corner for months or even years. I've heard this story so many times, but you can prevent this by having a plan with input along the way. Some options that work really well are to learn from a teacher or from an online course or a combination of both. If you're looking for an online program to learn harp from the beginning with clear goals and input from a teacher, click the link in the description box to find out about my beginner program, Harp Beginnings. Number two, you don't need to find time to practice. Most people who are struggling with learning are struggling to get around to practicing. But you can eliminate the need to find time to practice by making it a regular part of your daily routine. Then practicing the harp becomes second nature, like getting dressed in the morning. It's easier to find motivation for something that's naturally built into your day and you do it automatically. It works best to practice in short sessions daily or most days rather than trying to catch up in one big session that becomes such a big deal that you put it off. And as a bonus, short and frequent sessions are actually better for building muscle memory. Number three, the harp you choose can have an impact on your learning. In the beginning, it can feel like a big deal to spend money on a decent harp when you don't even know if you'll enjoy learning. So people often choose to buy a low quality harp with 15 or 19 strings. But the trouble is that having a very small harp with too few strings actually makes it harder to learn and often these harps don't work very well and can even fall apart after a year. But not all good quality harps cost a fortune. For example, a harpsicle has 26 strings, which is the smallest number of strings I would recommend, and it starts out at $600. Get a harp that will give you a good experience and won't cause huge amounts of frustration, otherwise you'll limit the chance that you'll actually keep playing for the long run. Number four, if you don't have a local harp teacher, you can still get feedback on your playing. Often people think that if they don't have a local harp teacher, their only option is to teach themselves without any support or feedback. But there are more options than you think. If you want lessons with a teacher, you can get harp lessons over Zoom. And if you want to teach yourself from a course, you can get a feedback video where you send in a video of your playing and get a video back from a harp teacher giving you advice on your technique and answering your questions. You can even have a once-off lesson over Zoom whenever you feel the need. Getting feedback on your harp playing early on in your harp journey is really important to avoid the future heartache of getting frustrated or building bad habits that prevent you from progressing in the long run. You can get the help you need no matter where you are in the world. Number five, your mindset matters. A big part of progressing on the harp is having the motivation to keep going even when it gets hard or when life gets in the way. It takes time to develop the connection between your fingers and your brain and we need to be patient with ourselves. Decide to enjoy the sound you're making even when you're not yet good at playing the harp. Thankfully, the harp doesn't only sound nice when you're skilled, the sound is lovely right from the start. Don't only see success as playing perfectly, there are lots of other benefits to playing the harp and we can choose to enjoy the journey. When it feels difficult, instead of saying to yourself, I'm so stupid, I can't get this right, instead intentionally repeat things like, this is hard but I like a challenge. If you're thinking about learning to play, my program Harp Beginnings could be exactly what you need to get started. No musical background required. This online program goes right from the beginning, including advice on buying a harp if you don't have one yet, taking you through exactly what to learn each week from learning the basics and into your first few pieces, guiding you through how to learn good technique and even including how to practice for busy people. There's an online community where you and other students can share your progress and encourage each other and you even get the chance to send in a video of your playing and get feedback from a qualified harp teacher. So if you want to be guided through the process of learning and make sure you're not missing anything, click here to find out more about harp beginnings and we'll see you there.